Hello, this is Dr. Mikolai Rashek of Neurogenomics and in today's video I wanted to share with you a database that actually collects the genetic sequence of all of the virus samples that are collected all over the world where the genetic information is decoded and we can this way we can track how the virus mutates throughout the entire world, where the different strains emerge, emerge. And the reason why this is fascinating to me because it uses the same technology, next generation sequencing, that are used in medical DNA tests, which is my area of interest, that's my world. And this is why partially one of the reasons why I am so interested in study of the pandemic. So this has never been available to us before. It's the first time in history that we can actually track evolution of the virus live in such exquisite detail and it's quite fascinating so let's take a look together so here is the database that's the website where you can actually see all of this so you can check this out for yourself so as you enter the website the first thing you see is this is this branch branches of trees they actually map the different the different strains the start of the pandemic is right there. If you click on that, you can actually analyze each one of these dots. They represent different strain. That's the original starting strain isolated from Wuhan in December. And the, the longer the tree, the, the branch of that tree, the greater the divergence of the virus from the original strain. So you can see Delta is quite diverged uh, in comparison to the starting strain and you can also see that the majority of the samples right now are the delta strain and you can see other strains have emerged throughout the history delta being one of the uh one of the latest ones to, to to have taken over the world and we're going to come back here and analyze this information as well but in the meantime i want to show you this this is the global map of how different strains have been isolated throughout the world and right now what this map represents is the average of all of the different strains identified in a given geographical area and despite the duration of the entire pandemic you can see already in this summary map that delta is one of the primary strains being now identified all over the world despite the fact that this is the summary of entire pandemic so we're going to start the video we're going to and it the video will track the mutagenesis throughout the entire pandemic so at first there will be you won't see any strains emerge uh, while the virus mutates but it didn't lead to emergence of any yet clearly identified different strains and then we'll see uh, as they start popping up okay so the video should be set for fast yes it is so let's start we're gonna start on fast first so basically this shows you how the strain now spreads all over the world this is the original wuhan strain so immediately the entire world is uh, is being contaminated by the, that strain but nothing new emerges yet so we're now into march april of last year so still no no specific uh, strain identified so let's see when it first emerges when do we see first bit of color and still nothing yet we're into the summer of last year boom there there it is so now we see the first colors emerge which is a designation of the first new strains these are showed up in mexico and south america which does not mean that's where first strains popped up this is just simply where the first data available within this database is from where that clearly identifies these strains we're going to slow down the video a little bit so you can watch it in greater detail so now let's see these are still not any of the specific strains you're you might be familiar with let's get the legend can we get the legend here no so we're going to continue with the movie so and we'll see what happens so right now still no major strains showing up oh there's next one showing up in africa there's some now in asia these are still not the ones that are we are so familiar with and mutagenesis continues boom finally we see a bit of alpha show up in in uh, europe and look at that Be beta shows up in south africa and takes over south african continent different strains are showing up here and there now australia us 
the, the, these different colors identify different strains. Still, South African continent completely dominated, predominantly dom predom um, dominated by the beta strain. Um, South America still virgin at this point, predominantly Europe. Slowly, alpha is continuing to emerge. Oh, look at that! Did you see that? Delta strain emerges right there. So I paused the video in Turkey of all places. We typically identify the Delta strain with India, but the first at least emergence on this map was in Turkey. At the same time, look at that, there's Lambda and Gamma. So let's con this is now end of last year. This is around the same time that vaccination just started all over the world. So now let's see what happens as we mass vaccinate. And look at that, still, still beta dominating southern south african continent here's extra strains emerging in europe but mostly it's alpha alpha is totally all over the europe mm, gamma is taking over brazil and paraguay look at that peru it's mostly lambda right there what's going on there mexico us australia canada it's a rainbow of colors anything goes basically let's take any strain we can ooh, any strain is welcome at these places apparently look at brazil fully fully taken over by gamma peru fully taken over by lambda and delta is slowly taking over the world it's now predominant strain in india it's now spreading to europe we're looking now at the april may of this year already and look it's now taking over south africa as well it's now spreading to north america still not really taking place in south america europe whoa europe is being taking over fast by delta africa sayonara baby it's mostly delta australia mostly delta look at us not a chance mostly delta europe there is a massive fight going on between delta and alpha alpha is fighting for survival probably not going to make it we'll see in a moment africa mostly delta right now as well south america is the only bastion of uh, diversity left in the world it seems still gamma and and lambda well represented but oh no look at that delta taking over both brazil and paraguay europe mostly delta at this point um us mostly delta mexico mostly delta africa mostly delta whoa we're not even we're at the middle of the summer and it's already mostly delta oh we're into the sem september right now I'll pause this really briefly. Look at that. We're looking now at September. So just a, just a bit over a month ago, and Delta is already taking over the entire world, entire Europe, entire Africa, entire Asia, Australia, United States, Canada, Mexico, Central America as well. South America is the last bastion standing where there is some diversity um, and still at the same time, while there's some Gamma, Lambda, and even Mu, that's the light orange color um, is being quickly taken over by Delta. So let's finish this movie and see and see the slow death of, of uh, all of the other strains at the expense of the Delta. So now we're into October and you can see Delta is ruling the world. And now that's back to the summary of the entire world throughout the entire pandemic. And another way to represent this is through this image here below. We started the pandemic right here. 98% of all of the strains were, uh, were specific one lineage stemming from Wuhan. As we started vaccinating around here, there was an emergence of great diversity of different strains that probably peaked around April, May this year. And at, at that point, Delta was already taking over um, slowly but surely. And by now, as we continue mass vaccinating, Delta has completely taken, taken over the world. And at the moment, 95% of all strains identified everywhere around the world is just a Delta strain. So it kind of looks like we're back to the start of the pandemic where we started with one major strain. We're back to the one major strain. We'll see what the evolution will look like. The point here is that the virus mutates rapidly and I think this is one of the areas that has been underappreciated is how, mm, how complex this virus is and how rapidly can it evolve. Because it, it's, when you duplicate it 
inside infected person you make billions and billions of copies and every single time you make a copy there is a chance of a mutation being incorporated so the virus has so much opportunity to mutate so now let's take a look at the mutational history so here is um here's your your uh, tree diagram of of all the different strains let's change that to another viewpoint we'll make it into a circular uh, viewpoint but we'll instead of time we're going to look at divergence which refers to how many mutations are the different strains diverging from the original starting strain and those the number of mutations are mapped right here so you can see delta all the all of the predominant strains that have recently ruled the world they are well into 40 to 50 mutations away from the starting strain the original vaccine is right against the starting strain right there so you, this is helps to explain to some degree why vaccines are waning in their ability to to neutralize the virus over time is because as this virus mutates and mutates it finds new ways to bypass certain neutralizing antibodies and therefore that's one of the reasons why vaccine effectiveness will drop because this virus mutates so rapidly so you can see Delta took over the world and what are some of the most mutated samples identified thus far here is 55 Delta here's one with 56 so right now that's at least at the moment on this database that's the highest number of mutations observed from diff that are different from the original starting starting strain and another way to look at this is to map it linearly so this is the duration of the entire pandemic uh, on the x-axis on the y-axis you have number of mutations right here so 40 50 mutations are, are right there and those are the most mutated samples that I just showed you right now. These are the latest samples. So they're looking to uh, high 40s. Basically, all of the current strains we identify have at least 40 mutations in them. Again, you can see Delta just took over the world. And if you draw a tangent across, it shows you how many mutations per year the virus mutates. And it's approximately obtains over time through random mutagenesis and selection process. We're looking at, uh, we're observing approximately 25 new mutations are found in a virus per year. So uh, th this is now the pandemic is getting close to a second year and that's why we're approximately into 50 mutations. And it looks like perhaps maybe the mutation rate is that we are observing is, looks like it's speeding up. The mutation rate shouldn't be speeding up. It's just really the selection process that might be that might be changing so this shows you what we're fighting against and how difficult it might be to fight against this virus if we we're hopeful that vaccines might stop the infection unfortunately now we know that uh, that didn't work there's lots of breakthrough cases so that's in my opinion one of the um, policy and uh, policies that we have which was by looking at the vaccinated versus, versus unvaccinated does not necessarily make sense we should be looking at who's being infected and and versus not and more specifically we should also be continuing to collect this data to see whether there are emergence of new strains because we don't yet know what will emerge after the delta if we're lucky this will be the end of it so for now that's definitely the end of this video if you like this video give us give us a like subscribe to the channel leave a comment you know how it works the more activity there is the more people like yourself will be able to find this video that's it for now i hope you enjoyed this quick uh, short video and see you next time bye everyone